Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this blue gradient water marble. I'm headed to Chicago for a week and so I wanted something really awesome on my nails and this is what I decided on. So if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. Alright, starting out I just have a base coat applied and I've got fresh patches on these three nails and since I'm going out of town, I actually did a layer of gel on the other nails too. So hopefully I don't break anything while I'm out of town. I'm going to go ahead and use Essie Bikini Sotini as my base color. Then I'm going to put some tape around my nails and sponge with Bikini Sotini Butler Please, which is a darker blue. And Clutch Me If You Can, which is this very dark kind of burgundy or maroon color and I'm planning to blend these on most of the nail so they'll just be a little bit of this plain at the tip and they'll mostly blend together into a purple but you'll see that once we get to the sponging part The next step, of course, is the water marble. So I've already done my left hand, although I haven't cleaned up yet. I'm going to be building the bullseye with China Glaze Liquid Leather and China Glaze Rainbow. And then I'll be drawing in the design, starting out with a flower with eight petals. optional once you've finished off the petals what I'm gonna do is go every other one and make it pointed and that's just at your discretion you don't even have to do necessarily a flower shape if you don't want to and now that I have that done I'm actually gonna be dipping all four nails at once which is pretty rare for me and is a pretty tight fit in the cup but I'm just going to aim the center of the flower in between my middle and ring fingers and then go ahead and dip in there <clears throat> now be careful not to dip too far or you'll probably get water all over your desk just be delicate and reach in to clean up that excess polish don't bump into your nails and then slowly pull them out and there's the water marble I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera and I'm actually gonna show you guys the cleanup today okay I've already taken the tape off my left hand as you can see still got it on on the right side what I did was just cut the underside of the tape and now I'm just gonna peel off the tape and if you have questions on how I do the taping, there's a video specifically all about that in the tips and tricks playlist. But just makes cleanup a little bit easier. And now I'm going to go in with a uh, kind of flat brush and go around my cuticle holes get any of that little extra polish. If you have any bubbles, just make sure to try and press those flat before you apply your top coat. I usually use the flat end of the orange stick. And then I'm going to finish everything off with sesh feet. Okay. 
So here is the finished look and I think I am like 99% happy. This turned out almost exactly as I wanted. I don't know that I'm ever 100% happy, but I think that's part of the fun with nail art is that you can always, always keep improving. I'd love to hear if you guys think this is as awesome as I think it is. And I think it'll keep me happy for my week in Chicago. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.